30 to 35 miles per hour. But if you are in this area, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that when you're changing lanes, you do take your time out there as uh, roads are definitely gonna be slick. For now, reporting in live drive, Jake Ryle 9 on your side. All right, Jake, thank you. A six month old badly injured. The baby is just one of six hurt in a crash last night. Three adults and three children were taken to the hospital. And one fact about this crash actually caught a driving instructor by surprise. Not on your sides. Brianna Malloy is live at Cincinnati Children's Hospital. What can you tell us about this crash, Brianna? Well, a couple facts about this crash. We know that the family swerved off the side of the road and hit a tree. The second fact made the whole situation a lot worse, and that's that no one in the car was wearing a seatbelt. Police arrived at this scene on Dutch Colony Road last night. Inside this car were six passengers, three adults and three children, a six-month-old, a two-year-old, and a seven-year-old. All were rushed to the hospital. None were wearing seatbelts. When I saw the story and the lack of seatbelts for everyone in the car, it wasn't just the kids or just the adults. It, it's mind boggling to me. That's Mike Belcour. He's been teaching driving safety at AAA for years. I asked the question and we cover seatbelt safety. The amount of kids that actually are honest and raise their hands that they don't wear their seatbelt actually surprises me. To help his students understand, Belcour gives them a statistic. 40,000 people die from automobile accidents each year. The comparison we give to our teens for the 40,000 is it's the same as two jumbo jets crashing each week. According to AAA, 25% of these people would still be alive if they had used seatbelts. It's a three second process to buckle up your seatbelt that could end up saving the life of everybody in the car. And for young children, Buckling up in a proper car seat is a decision only an adult can make. They don't have a choice in the matter. It's whatever mom or dad or whatever adults watching them choose for them as they put them in the car. It's a decision that could have had big consequences for the three children who were involved in this crash last night. And the last we heard about how the passengers were doing is from last night. Police tell us that the three adults are all in stable condition. The two-year-old and the seven-year-old are being treated for minor injuries. And the six-month-old was given CPR on the scene and then transported here to Cincinnati Children's Hospital in critical condition. So we're all still hoping and praying that that baby made it through. Brianna Malloy, 9 on your side.